Well, we're back out and it's been a pretty slow night. Uh, only two zinc pennies so far and a few nails and such. But we got this 22 signal right under the ground. I have no idea what this thing is. Yeah, it was pretty shallow. Looks like it was attached to something right there, but uh, yeah. I don't know if it's part of dishware or a handle from something. Very weird. All right, we'll keep going. Yeah, we've been passing over a lot of areas uh, at this park. They, way back in the day, they used coal cinders to level out areas to fill in low spots and uh, those coal cinders are just loaded with uh, iron bits and nails and stuff so it's just it's just constantly coming up and with this really wet ground it's just those signals are really banging tonight which uh, unfortunately you have to investigate because a lot of them sound very very good all right let's hope uh, we can pull out something something at least non-zinc or something older all right guys i'm beside this big tree right on the slope of the uh around the tree and i had kind of a solid four signal and i thought in the back of my head how low can how low gold can go so i thought i'd dig it and it seemed pretty close to the surface which it was, I just poked it out of the grass with that. And uh, got ourselves a ring. Now, there is no markings on this. Um, it's kind of small. I mean, can, can small white gold ring up a four like that? Very strange, I mean, I don't know if it, it seems like, I mean, it's small, but I don't know. Seems like it might have a bit of weight to it, but it's really hard to say. I don't know. Could be stainless, but uh, very hard to say. Oh, it always seems any rings I get never seem to have markings on them. All right. That would be pretty cool if it was gold though. But I don't know. I have my doubts. Just the grain of the metal almost seems like possibly steel. But anyway, we'll have to test it out. Anyway, pretty cool though. Solid four. Gotta dig those. Well, that didn't take long to get the second ring. And we're right beside, right beside the pathway. And we got a, looks to me like a bling ring. It's kind of cool though. Looks like copper or brass. Rang up a solid 24, just under the surface. Huh, very cool. Yeah, definitely not precious metal that. Well, this was strange. We eked out a, a penny just under the surface. And we got ourselves finally in a, well, it's the youngest older coin I could find so far, 1964. The last year, the young Liz. But uh, we're hoping to go back much further than that. All right, guys, we're back at that school where we got the 1950 quarter. And there has been a whole lot of good since. Uh, but uh, I don't know. We had a night, uh, we had a 22 shallow. I'm not sure if this is silver or not. It was deep enough that if it was silver, it should have some tarnish on it. But uh, I don't know. Could be just a junker. We'll have to get the magnifying glass when we get home and uh, confirm. I don't know. 
Hard to say. Oh guys, we got a screaming 33, 32 signal coming up at only two bars. And I think we got ourselves. Now we're on a soccer. We're on a soccer field, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, hopefully it's not a junk ring. But oh boy, she's chunky. She got something on the front. Wow. Look at that. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Kind of feeling plating on it. But she's heavy. Let's uh let's investigate and uh see what we got here. Uh guys, unfortunately I think she's a blinger. Plating's coming off there, and there's a little sticker on the inside saying 2002 MK to 2007 SP. No idea what that means, but uh, you can see the plating. Yeah, the plating was flaking right off, so. Well, it's a pretty cool ring, nonetheless. Too bad it's not silver, though. All right. See you on the next one. Well, we had another shallow low 20s on the soccer field, and uh, looks like we got ourselves another junker. It's pretty light. Actually, it looks like it was kind of like a pendant. I think it was attached to something. Well, we had a 2122 down here, pretty shallow. And this is the one, I think, one of the tiniest rings I've ever found. And uh, I can't make out any markings, but this one definitely looks like it could be silver. It's got that toning, that kind of dull shine to it, like you see silver. So we're going to have to uh, identify later with the magnifying glass, because that sucker is tiny. That's a cute little stone. Must have been a really little kid who, uh, who lost that. I could hear it going crazy and we got some surface clad, just pulled away some of the grass. Got ourselves a quarter. Nice. Be nice if I could find toonies and loonies. They seem to be uh, they seem to be mostly coin shot in most places. Alright, I'll take that. Alright, we've switched to the old park now and uh, just got a Screaming 28 signal, fairly shallow. And we got ourselves a dog tag, name or name tag anyway. It's got a phone number on the back, but uh, yeah, it'd be funny if I, <laughs> be interesting if I phoned it, <laughs> say, hey, I found your tag. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, we had a nice solid 28 and we got something shiny down here. Oh sweet, I'm hoping it's going to be old. We're kind of in that area where the old, there used to be some large trees. And uh, yeah, that definitely looks like silver. I'm thinking it could be wreathed. Uh, let's clean it up and uh, maybe we got a Vicky. That would be awesome. Ah, uh, guys, she's a bit worn, but we got ourselves an eddy dime. Oh, that's sweet. And we got uh, we got ourselves 1906. Oh, that is sweet. Oh, awesome! Finally, we broke our our unlucky streak here. Just a matter of time. Oh, right beside the pathway, I thought I had a large scent. It was a nice solid 2021 at four bars. But, uh, got ourselves a little ring. It's got to be a bit older, being four bars. I think it's just bling, but, uh, yeah. I mean, could be gold-plated, maybe? Hard to say. Kind of cool, though. wonder if those would actually be real rubies in there. All right. See if we can eke ourselves out a large scent. 
Oh, we got a shallow low 20 signal down here, 21, 22, and uh, a bit different this time. Got ourselves a Barbados, a Barbados nickel, five cents. Oh, very cool. Uh, to the foreign coin collection. All right, guys, we got a little area beside the path where the ground has been redone. And uh, we got a nice 28 down there, and I wasn't expecting this to come out. Oh, we got some shiny. Oh, that's the second one tonight. I'm thinking this one's going to be not as old as the last one, but uh, let's squirt it off and uh, see what we might have. Well, that's what I figured. We got ourselves a young Liz, and we got a 1960. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I thought I'd just finish off the night by doing a couple swaths along the along the path and uh, very cool. Go back and yeah, it's just about time to go. Well, that was a strange one down there. We had, it was in the low 20s, about four bars. I thought for sure we were gonna have a large scent, but uh, we got this little piece of lead interesting shape and it looks like it used to have some sort of little handle on it that's been bent over but it looks like it was cast on purpose in that shape you can kind of see a mold line down the middle I have no idea what that would have been from huh definitely looks purpose purposefully made it almost looks like a tiny a tiny iron made of lead all right, very cool.